Moving on with our discussion about parallel circuits, let's look at the current distribution in the parallel circuits. Note down figure 1.12. Let two resistors R1 and R2 be connected in parallel, as shown, across a potential difference of V volts. As per Ohm's law, what will the current flowing through resistance R1 be? R1 and R2 are the resistances. Their respective currents are taken as I1 and I2. The total current is taken as I and the voltage is V. I hope you have noted down the figure. Now, as per Ohm's law, I1, that's the current flowing through resistance R1, is equal to V divided by R1. Take that as equation 1. Similarly, current I2 through resistance R2 will be, as per Ohm's law, I2 equals V divided by R2. Take that as equation 2. Dividing equation 1 by equation 2 or expression 1 by ex expression 2, we get I1 divided by I2 is equal to, the numerator has V divided by R1, whole thing divided by V divided by R2. Getting rid of the voltages and transposing appropriately, we get R2 by R1. Take this as equation or expression 3. The above expression 3 shows that the current through each resistor when connected in parallel is inversely proportional to the respective resistance. That is the currents are inversely proportional to the resistances. We could also express the branch currents in terms of the total circuit current in the following manner. Note down this expression 3 and let's move on. I is equal to I1 plus I2. You know that the sum of the currents at a particular node is this. That is I2 equals I minus I1. We are shifting I1 to the other side. We have seen from expression 3 that I1 by I2 equals R2 by R1. You know that they are inversely proportional. Which means when we substitute the value of I2 we get I1 whole thing divided by I minus I1 is equal to R2 by R1. Or when we cross multiply, we get I1 into R1 is equal to R2 whole thing into I minus I1. And when you multiply properly, you get R2 into I minus R2 into I1 on the right hand side. By rearranging, we get I1 R1 plus R2 I1 sent to the left hand side is equal to R2 into I. R2 into I can be written as I into R2. It's just rearranging accordingly. Hence, we can derive I1 is equal to I into the whole thing R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Note down this formula. This is very useful for problems, for applications, for a whole lot of things. This is a special case when there are only two resistors and they are connected in parallel. That is, one point is connected at one part of the circuit and the other end is connected to another part of the circuit, but only those two resistors are in parallel. Then you can find the current in either one of the resistors by knowing the total current. We will see another special case when there are three resistors connected in the same way. That's another special case with another special formula. Let's see that in the next session.